Mr. President was, up, was almost summarizing everything. Yes, I will not say, I will not start with Plateau. I will say that it is entirely in the northern, in the northern states. By virtue of my privilege to be chairman of the Northern Governors Forum for four years, when there were similar things all over the country. But with particular reference to Plateau, I had the report from the military this morning. I will say that I was disappointed. Disappointed how? Because part of it was that why they couldn't deal with the situation in Mangu and Bokos was because of proximity and of course also the terrain. And I asked the question, for a military, for armed forces, there is nothing like terrain. There is nothing like uh, distance. In Prattu State, because of several crises, we have proliferation of outfits. We have the creation of Operation Save Heaven, all funded by the state government. We have the Operation Rainbow, funded by state government. That is increase in the capacity of recent. We created the Kerang Rescue, which is an Air Force base with helicopters. The issue of Mangu, many people were killed around Kerang. Where was the Air Force? Where are the uh, helicopters? Today, sir, we discussed about Tukano jets. The, 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 we are told that Tukano jets are not available. We discussed about uh, drones. The drones are available. My spirit is that we must first of all deal with the criminals because before we come back to deal with the internal situation. Yes, like every society, we have conflicts. We have religious conflicts and differences. We have ethnic uh, conflicts and difference and differences. But when a dimension like this comes into effect, it calls the attention of Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because the killings that were done were done in systematic manner. But as we move in, I don't think that the role of the the, 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 the military is always to employ kinetic. We discussed that in Kaduna and we came to resolution that as much as we uh, go into kinetic, we must also dwell on non-kinetic methods in settling disputes in these various states. And if there was, if there, it was so, it took a long time. This information is not the first. This attack is not the first. Always on Christmas Eve. Always on Christmas Eve. So as we move into this kind of thing, I also want to support, because the bill failed last time. Mr. President, if you give permission, we are bringing it back again. The role of traditional rulers in security. Let us give them constitutional roles. I'm not saying that we must always talk about state police, but we have traditional rulers that can always produce solutions to this kind of problems. We brought a law, and the law failed last time. But I am here. I will produce, I will still uh, sponsor another law and with the help of the Senate, let us give some roles to our traditional council on, the, uh, on addressing issues of secur uh, security. As I said, dialogue is very, very important. We created peace building, yes, we created interreligious council. We know the terrain of Plateau State. It may not be like Benue, but in Plateau State, a little skirmishes <laughs> of a traditional or even a family dispute may always move into a religious uh, conclusion. And then you have this dimension of crisis. But however, it is not insurmountable. And with this present Senate and the way Mr. President of the Senate is taking the issue, I agree with Senator Nangi and also with my Senator, Senator, uh, Senator Dickert Plan, that first of all, let us go back to address the issues. Mr. Mr. President, those who were displaced in 2021 have not been returned to their places because the land is devastated. The place, there is no way. I kept on hammering that if we created the Northeast Development Commission, we are now about creating the Southeast Development Commission. If you want to address the issues, of insecurity in the north central and part of the north 
then we must also go to, to look at the possibility of creating a North Central Development Commission. That is the only way we can bring back our people. Otherwise, an angry man, a, a man who is displaced from his place for more than 10 years is always an angry man, an angry man. So we are talking about giving money today. That money will not even send those who are displaced in 2021. That will not bring those who are, who are displaced in 2001. But there is a lot to be done. But like I said, let us call back the military to order. That is not a reason to say that 100 people and something people will be killed. Because I know that in those settlements there are operations safe haven. They have outfits there that are being funded by government. And this matter is very serious. And on behalf of the good people of Plateau State, once again, I thank the Senate, thank Mr. President and the Senate for looking at this issue and making quick consideration to save the lives of the people of Plateau State. And I so move. Thank you, sir. I think you have more or less captured everything. Uh, being a son of the soil and a former governor, uh, appears to have been very, very well coordinated with local uh, collaborators. The bandits did not come with weapons. The weapons were already deposited in the various villages they attacked. So even if you stop them on the road, they will say they are ordinary Nigerians or they are ordinary citizens just going about their normal businesses. But when they arrive the places that they are targeting, they will now go to where the weapons are. So it also means that there is need for us to improve on intelligence, intelligence gathering. And um, definitely the administration of President Bola Metunibu is new. But this has more, this is multifaceted. Senator Plan said it has, some, it has something to do with ethnicity. In some instances, religious connotation. In some instances, financial and commercial communication because of mining purposes. And that may, may account for the idea of wiping out children so that they will not come back to ask for their father's lands. So we, 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 we won't discuss everything here because there will be need to stop them from occupying those places that they have wiped out the indigents. In case the intention is for them to take over the land and start their mining activities without let or hindrance. But let me hear from the former governor of Plateau State, who himself is a son of the soil, the Senator Lalong. <laughs> 